Hello everyone, welcome to our art class. This is your teacher, Ms. Thea G. Vasquez. Enjoy the lesson! As a guide to the multiple intelligences we will use for this discussion, these small icons that you will find in the upper part of the presentations are indications that our activities, tasks, or discussions will shape your naturalist intelligence, interpersonal intelligence, logical mathematical intelligence, intrapersonal intelligence, verbal linguistic intelligence, musical intelligence, bodily kinesthetic intelligence, and of course, your visual spatial intelligence. For our learning target for today, I can apply the principle of rhythm in creating a radial ethnic pattern design through crayon etching technique. For our art attack, review, introduction to product task, materials needed, procedures, and reminders. Let us recall our previous lesson last meeting. What do you think makes a pattern? Pattern is a repeated decorative design, consistently created in a regular manner. What do we call the process of repetition? It's rhythm. It is the repetition of one or more elements within a visual composition to create harmony. It is a principle of art that indicates movement by the repetition of elements or objects. Visual rhythms create a sensation of movement. What do we call the element that we repeat in the pattern? It is motif. It is the element you repeat in the image. It is a repeated idea, pattern, image or it can be called as a theme. The motif is commonly used in fashion, interior designs, architectural designs and many more. Now, let's find out, what are the different types of rhythm? We have, regular rhythm, random rhythm, alternating rhythm, flowing, or, radial rhythm, and progressive rhythm. What about balance? Balance is the principle of art, that deals with the arrangement of parts in an artwork. An artwork that is balanced seems to have equal visual weight or interest in all areas. It could be symmetrical or asymmetrical. Symmetrical balance is when the left side of a picture or design is the same or similar to the right in terms of size, shape, color, or weight. It is also called formal balance, while asymmetrical balance is achieved when two sides of a picture or design are not the same nor similar but are arranged in some way such that their weights are almost equal and stability is achieved it is also known as informal balance let us apply the principle of rhythm and balance in the crayon etching technique but what is crayon etching it is a technique of art, where crayons are heavily applied on the paper, and you engrave or scratch the designs and patterns on it using a stick. It creates a glow-in-the-dark effect. What are the materials needed for crayon etching? You will need Number 1. Oslo paper or sketch pad Number 2. Crayons Preferably light colors Number 3 black oil pastel or black acrylic paint number four one piece of wood chopstick or popsicle stick or toothpick and number five scratch papers or manila papers now let us learn the procedures in making crayon etching step one 
color the entire paper with different colors, using crayons in any way you want. Use light colors only. See the example. Step 2. Cover the first part with black oil pastel or black acrylic paint. Avoid leaving space. Step 3. Scratch the black part according to your design using the chopstick or popsicle stick. Here are the examples of crayon etching. For our product task, apply the principle of rhythm in creating a radial ethnic pattern design through crayon etching technique. Follow the procedures properly. We will only do step 1 and 2 for this week. We will do the design next week. Please, do not upload it yet in Genio. The uploading of final output will be next week. You will see this task in Genio as an assignment. Kindly open assignment with the title, Art 4, Week 3 Product Task, Crayon Etching. Please take note that, this is a graded activity. Please be guided by the rubrics. Submission of your activity will be next week. Only do Step 1 and 2 for this week. Feel free to leave a message if you have concerns. For your assignment, please follow and do step 1 and 2. Here's our scoring rubrics for your product task. 